Chapters 1 through 8 of Leviticus from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kalinda. Leviticus from the World English Bible. Chapters 1 through 8. Yahweh called to Moses, and spoke to him out of the tent of meeting, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, When any one of you offers an offering to Yahweh, you shall offer your offering of the livestock, from the herd and from the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he shall offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it at the door of the tent of meeting, that he may be accepted before Yahweh. He shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. He shall kill the bull before Yahweh. Aaron's sons, the priests, shall present the blood and sprinkle the blood around on the altar that is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall flay the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire on the altar and lay wood in order on the fire. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall lay the pieces, the head and the fat, in order on the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar. But its innards and its legs he shall wash with water. The priest shall burn the whole on the altar for a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering is from the flock, from the sheep, or from the goats, for a burnt offering he shall offer a male without blemish. He shall kill it on the north side of the altar before Yahweh. Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall cut it into its pieces with its head and its fat. The priest shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar, but the innards and the legs he shall wash with water. The priest shall offer the whole and burn it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering to Yahweh is a burnt offering of birds, then he shall offer his offering of turtle doves or of young pigeons. The priest shall bring it to the altar, and wring off its head and burn it on the altar, and its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar, and he shall take away its crop with its filth, and cast it beside the altar on the east part, in the place of the ashes. He shall tear it by its wings, but shall not divide it apart. The priest shall burn it on the altar, on the wood that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. When any one offers an offering of a meal offering to Yahweh, his offering shall be of fine flour, and he shall pour oil on it, and put frankincense on it. He shall bring it to Aaron's sons, the priests, and he shall take his handful of its fine flour and of its oil, with all its frankincense, and the priest shall burn its memorial on the altar, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. That which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his son's. It is a most holy thing of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. When you offer an offering of meal offering baked in the oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, or unleavened wafers anointed with oil. If your offering is a meal offering of the griddle, it shall be of unleavened fine flour mixed with oil. You shall cut it into pieces and pour oil on it. It is a meal offering. If your offering is a meal offering of the pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. You shall bring the meal offering that is made of these things to Yahweh, and it shall be presented to the priest, and he shall bring it to the altar. The priest shall take from the meal offering its memorial, and shall burn it on the altar, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. That which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his son's. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. No meal offering which you shall offer to Yahweh shall be made with yeast, for you shall burn no yeast, nor any honey, as an offering made by fire to Yahweh. As an offering of first fruits, you shall offer them to Yahweh, but they shall not descend for a pleasant aroma on the altar. Every offering of your meal offering you shall season with salt. Neither shall you allow the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your meal offering. With all your offerings you shall offer salt. If you offer a meal offering of first fruits to Yahweh, you shall offer for the meal offering of your first fruits grain in the ear parched with fire, bruised grain of the fresh ear. You shall put oil on it and lay frankincense on it. It is a meal offering. The priest shall burn as its memorial part of its bruised grain and part of its oil, along with all its frankincense. It is an offering made by fire to Yahweh. If his offering is a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offers it from the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before Yahweh. He shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it at the door of the tent of meeting, 
and Aaron's sons the priests shall sprinkle the blood around on the altar. He shall offer of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire to Yahweh, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver with the kidneys he shall take away. Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar on the burnt offering, which is on the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh is from the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he offers a lamb for his offering, then he shall offer it before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering, and kill it before the tent of meeting, and Aaron's sons shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall offer from the sacrifice of peace offerings an offer made by fire to Yahweh. Its fat, the entire tail fat, he shall take away close to the backbone, and the fat that covers the innards, and the fat that is on the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver with the kidneys, he shall take away. The priest shall burn it on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire to Yahweh. If his offering is a goat, then he shall offer it before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on his head, and kill it before the tent of meeting, and the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall offer from it as his offering an offering made by fire to Yahweh, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver with the kidneys he shall take away. The priest shall burn them on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire for a pleasant aroma. All the fat is Yahweh's. It shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations in all your dwellings, that you shall eat neither fat nor blood. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, if any one sins unintentionally in any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and does any one of them, if the anointed priest sins so as to bring guilt on the people, then let him offer for his sin which he has sinned, a young bull without blemish, to Yahweh for a sin offering. He shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of meeting before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the bull, and kill the bull before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall take some of the blood of the bull, and bring it to the tent of meeting. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahweh, before the veil of the sanctuary. The priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of meeting, and he shall pour out all the rest of the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall take all of the fat of the bull of the sin offering off of it, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver with the kidneys, he shall take away, as it is taken off the bull of the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall burn them on the altar of burnt offering. The bull's skin, all its flesh, with its head and with its legs, its innards and its dung, even the whole bull, shall he carry forth outside the camp to a clean place where the ashes are poured out, and burn it on wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, it shall be burned. If the whole congregation of Israel sins, and the thing is hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and are guilty, when the sin in which they have sinned is known, then the assembly shall offer a young bull for a sin offering, and bring it before the tent of meeting. The elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahweh, and the bull shall be killed before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall bring of the blood of the bull to the tent of meeting, and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before Yahweh, before the veil. He shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar which is before Yahweh, that is, in the tent of meeting, and the rest of the blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. All its fat he shall take from it, and burn it on the altar. Thus shall he do with the bull, as he did with the bull of the sin offering, so shall he do with this, and the priest shall make atonement for them, and they shall be forgiven. He shall carry forth the bull outside the camp, and burn it as he burned the first bull. It is the sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins, and unwittingly does any one of the, all the things which Yahweh his God has commanded not to be done, and is guilty, if his sin in which he has sinned is made known to him, he shall bring as his offering a goat, a male, without blemish. He shall lay his hand on the head of the goat, and kill it in the place where they kill the burnt offering before Yahweh. It is a sin offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering. He shall pour out the rest of its blood at the base of the altar of burnt offering. 
All its fat he shall burn on the altar, like the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin, and he will be forgiven. If any one of the common people sins unwittingly in doing any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and is guilty, if his sin which he has sinned is made known to him, then he shall bring for his offering a goat, a female without blemish, for his sin which he has sinned. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and kill the sin offering in the place of burnt offering. The priest shall take some of its blood with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and the rest of its blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat is taken away from off of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn it on the altar for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, and the priest shall make atonement for him, and he will be forgiven. If he brings a lamb as his offering for a sin offering, he shall bring a female without blemish. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and kill it for a sin offering, in the place where they kill the burnt offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and all the rest of its blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn them on the altar, on the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned, and he will be forgiven. If any one sins, in that he hears the voice of adjuration, he being a witness, whether he is seen or known, if he doesn't report it, then he shall bear his iniquity. Or if any one touches any unclean thing, whether it is the carcass of an unclean animal, or the carcass of unclean livestock, or the carcass of unclean creeping things, and it is hidden from him, and he is unclean, then he shall be guilty. Or if he touches the uncleanness of man, whatever his uncleanness is with which he is unclean, and it is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty. Or if any one swears rashly with his lips to do evil or to do good, whatever it is that a man might utter rashly with an oath, and it is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty of one of these. It shall be, when he is guilty of one of these, he shall confess that in which he has sinned, and he shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh for his sin which he has sinned, a female from the flock, a lamb or a goat, for a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin. If he can't afford a lamb, then he shall bring his trespass offering for that in which he has sinned, two turtle doves or two young pigeons to Yahweh, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. He shall bring them to the priest, who shall first offer the one which is for the sin offering, and wring off its head from its neck, but shall not sever it completely. He shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. He shall offer the second for a burnt offering, according to the ordinance, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin which he has sinned, and he shall be forgiven. But if he can't afford two turtle-doves or two young pigeons, then he shall bring his offering for that in which he has sinned, the tenth part of an ephah of flour for a sin offering. He shall put no oil on it, neither shall he put any frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering." He shall bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take his handful of it as the memorial portion, and burn it on the altar, on the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. It is a sin offering. The priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned in any of these things, and he will be forgiven, and the rest shall be the priest's, as the meal offering. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, If any one commits a trespass and sins unwittingly in the holy things of Yahweh, then he shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh a ram without blemish from the flock, according to your estimation in silver by shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for a trespass offering. He shall make restitution for that which he has done wrong in the holy thing, and shall add a fifth part to it, and give it to the priest, and the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering, and he will be forgiven. If any one sins, and does any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, though he didn't know it, yet he is guilty, and shall bear his iniquity. He shall bring a ram without blemish from the, of the flock, according to your estimation, for a trespass offering, to the priest, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning the thing in which he sinned and didn't know it, and he will be forgiven. It is a trespass offering. He is certainly guilty before Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, 
If any one sins and commits a trespass against Yahweh, and deals falsely with his neighbor in a matter of deposit, or of bargain, or of robbery, or has oppressed his neighbor, or has found that which was lost and dealt falsely therein, and swearing to a lie, in any of all these things that a man does sinning therein, then it shall be, if he has sinned and is guilty, he shall restore that which he took by robbery, or the thing which he has gotten by oppression, or the deposit which was committed to him, or the lost thing which he found, or anything about which he has sworn falsely, he shall restore it even in full, and shall add a fifth part more to it. To him to whom it belongs he shall give it, in the day of his being found guilty. He shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh, a ram without blemish from the flock, according to your estimation, for a trespass offering to the priest. The priest shall make atonement for him before Yahweh, and he will be forgiven concerning whatever he does to become guilty. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering shall be on the hearth on the altar all night until the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. The priest shall put on his linen garment, and he shall put on his linen breeches upon his body, and he shall remove the ashes from where the fire has consumed the burnt offering on the altar, and he shall put them beside the altar. He shall take off his garments and put on other garments, and carry the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. The fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it, it shall not go out, and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and he shall lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. Fire shall be kept burning on the altar continually, it shall not go out. This is the law of the meal offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it before Yahweh, before the altar. He shall take from there his handful of the fine flour of the meal offering, and of its oil, and all the frankincense which is on the meal offering, and shall burn it on the altar for a pleasant aroma, as its memorial to Yahweh. That which is left of it Aaron and his sons shall eat. It shall be eaten without yeast in a holy place. They shall eat it in the court of the tent of meeting. It shall not be baked with yeast. I have given it as their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy as the sin offering, and as the trespass offering. Every male among the children of Aaron shall eat of it, as their portion for ever throughout your generations from the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. Whoever touches them shall be holy. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer to Yahweh in the day when he is anointed, the tenth part of an ephah of flour for a meal, offering perpetually, half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening. It shall be made with oil in a griddle. When it is soaked, you shall bring it in. You shall offer the meal offering in baked pieces for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. The anointed priest that will be in his place from among his sons shall offer it. By a statute forever it shall be wholly burnt to Yahweh. Every meal offering of a priest shall be wholly burned. It shall not be eaten. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, the sin offering shall be killed before Yahweh. It is most holy. The priest who offers it for sin shall eat it. It shall be eaten in a holy place in the court of the tent of meeting. Whatever shall touch its flesh shall be holy. When there is any of its blood sprinkled on a garment, you shall wash that on which it was sprinkled in a holy place. But the earthen vessel in which it is boiled shall be broken, and if it is boiled in a bronze vessel, it shall be scoured and rinsed in water. Every male among the priests shall eat of it. It is most holy. No sin offering, of which any of the blood is brought into the tent of meeting to make atonement in the holy place, shall be eaten. It shall be burned with fire. This is the law of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering, he shall kill the trespass offering, and its blood he shall sprinkle around on the altar. He shall offer all of its fat, the fat tail and the fat that covers the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver, and with the kidneys he shall he take away. And the priest shall burn them on the altar, for an offering made by fire to Yahweh. It is a trespass offering. Every male among the priests may eat of it. It shall be eaten in a holy place. It is most holy. As is the sin offering, so is the trespass offering. There is one law for them. The priest who makes atonement with them shall have it. The priest who offers any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have for himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. Every meal offering that is baked in the oven, and all that is dressed in the pan and on the griddle, shall be the priest's who offers it. Every meal offering, mixed with oil or dry, belongs to all the sons of Aaron, 
one as well as another. This is the law of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which one shall offer to Yahweh. If he offers it for thanksgiving, then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and cakes mixed with oil. With cakes of unleavened bread he shall offer his offering with the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving. Of it he shall offer one out of each offering for a heave offering to Yahweh. It shall be the priests who sprinkles the blood of the peace offerings. The flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten on the day of his offering. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering is a vow or a freewill offering, it shall be eaten on the day that he offers his sacrifice, and on the next day what remains of it shall be eaten. But what remains of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burned with fire. If any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings is eaten on the third day, it will not be accepted, neither shall it be imputed to him who offers it. It will be an abomination, and the soul who eats any of it will bear his iniquity. The flesh that touches any unclean thing shall not be eaten. It shall be burned with fire. As for the flesh, every one who is clean may eat it, but the soul who eats of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings that belongs to Yahweh, having his uncleanness on him, that soul shall be cut off from his people. When any one touches any unclean thing, the uncleanness of man, or an unclean animal, or an any unclean abomination, and eat some of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings which belong to Yahweh, that soul shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, You shall eat no fat of bull or sheep or goat. The fat of that which dies of itself, and the fat of that which is torn of animals, may be used for any other service, but you shall in no way eat of it. For whoever eats the fat of the animal, of which men offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh, even the soul who eats it shall be cut off from his people. You shall not eat any blood, whether it is of bird or of animal, in any of your dwellings. Whoever it is who eats any blood, that soul shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, He who offers the sacrifice of his peace offerings to Yahweh shall bring his offering to Yahweh out of the sacrifice of his peace offerings. With his own hands he shall bring the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. He shall bring the fat with the breast, that the breast may be waved for a wave offering before Yahweh. The priest shall burn the fat on the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his son's. The right thigh you shall give to the priest for a heave offering out of the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aaron, who offers the blood of the peace offerings and the fat, shall have the right thigh for a portion. For the waved breast and the heaved thigh I have taken from the children of Israel out of the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and have given them to Aaron the priest and to his sons as their portion for ever from the children of Israel. This is the anointing portion of Aaron, and the anointing portion of his sons, out of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, in the day when he presented them to minister to Yahweh in the priest's office which Yahweh commanded to be given them of the children of Israel in the day that he anointed them. It is their portion for ever throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offerings, of the meal offering, and of the sin offering, and of the trespass offering, and of the consecration, and of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which Yahweh commanded Moses in Mount Sinai in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their offerings to Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and the bull of the sin offering, and the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble all the congregation at the door of the tent of meeting. Moses did as Yahweh commanded him, and the congregation was assembled at the door of the tent of meeting. Moses said to the congregation, This is the thing which Yahweh has commanded to be done. Moses brought Aaron and his sons, and washed them with water. He put the coat on him, tied the sash on him, clothed him with the robe, put the ephod on him, and he tied the skillfully woven band of the ephod on him, and fastened it to him with it. He placed the breastplate on him, and in the breastplate he put the Urim and the Thummim. He set the turban on his head, and on the turban in front he set the golden plate, the holy crown, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Moses took the anointing oil, and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it, and sanctified them. He sprinkled it on the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all its vessels, and the basin and its base, to sanctify them. 
he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head, and anointed him, to sanctify him. Moses brought Aaron's sons, and clothed them with coats, and tied sashes on them, and put headbands on them, as Yahweh commanded Moses. He brought the bull of the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the bull of the sin offering. He killed it, and Moses took the blood, and put it around on the horns of the altar with his finger, and purified the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar, and sanctified it to make atonement for it. He took all the fat that was on the innards, and the cover of the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and Moses burned it on the altar. But the bull, and its skin, and its flesh, and its dung, he burned with fire outside the camp, as Yahweh commanded Moses. He presented the ram of the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram. He killed it, and Moses sprinkled the blood around the altar. He cut the ram into its pieces, and Moses burned the head, and the pieces, and the fat. He washed the innards and the legs with water, and Moses burned the whole ram on the altar. It was a burnt offering for a pleasant aroma. It was an offering made by fire to Yahweh, as Yahweh commanded Moses. He presented the other ram, the ram of consecration, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram. He killed it, and Moses took some of its blood, and put it on the tip of Aaron's right ear, and on the thumb of his right hand, and on the great toe of his right foot. He brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put some of the blood on the tip of their right ear, and on the thumb of their right hand, and on the great toe of their right foot, and Moses sprinkled the blood around on the altar. He took the fat and the fat tail, and all the fat that was on the innards, and the cover of the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right thigh, and out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before Yahweh, he took one unleavened cake, and one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer, and placed them on the fat and on the right thigh. He put all these in Aaron's hands, and in his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before Yahweh. Moses took them from their hands, and burned them on the altar on the burnt offering. They were a consecration for a pleasant aroma. It was an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Moses took the breast, and waved it for a wave offering before Yahweh. It was Moses' portion of the ram of consecration, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Moses took some of the anointing oil, and some of the blood which was on the altar, and sprinkled it on Aaron, on his garments, and on his sons, and on his sons' garments with him, and sanctified Aaron, his garments, and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. Moses said to Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tent of meeting, and there eat it, and the bread that is in the basket of consecration, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. What remains of the flesh and of the bread you shall burn with the fire. You shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting seven days, until the days of your consecration are fulfilled, for he shall consecrate you seven days. What has been done this day, so Yahweh has commanded to do, to make atonement for you. You shall stay at the door of the tent of meeting day and night seven days, and keep Yahweh's command, that you don't die. For so I am commanded. Aaron and his sons did all the things which Yahweh commanded by Moses. End of chapters 1 through 8 Recording by Kalinda in Raymond, New Hampshire, on February 4, 2008